Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chedoze Chibike. I create amazing content, um, wonderful content on structural engineering. Um, today we'll be talking about how to insert a hidden beam in a slab. Um, before we go on with the matter of today, um, I would love you to like subscribe and share this video with other people that might need this video it's a wonderful video it will be teaching a lot about how to conceal a beam in a slab so without much ado let's move to the business of the day now today we'll be concealing a beam in a slab how do we go about it if you're given a structure sometime the owner or the contractor in charge of this building might ask you to conceal a beam in a slab maybe they are looking at so many factors some might be uh, some might be the physical appearance why some might actually be for aesthetic stick some might actually be for many other reasons so you as an engineer should provide a solution to this how do we provide solution to this first we look at the beam that was generally used around the house you can see this beam 1b17 you can see the width to be 225 and the depth to be 500 look at other beams you can see that this beam also is 225 500 so generally the beam that was used in this house has a width of 225 and a depth of 500 so this can also inform our decision so we can now assume that the width of the beam generally used in this house was 225 by the depth of and multiplied by the depth of 500 to get the area of the beam now since we've gotten the area and we are keen on looking at this slab we want to conceal the beam in a slab now what is the thickness of this slab let's check oh the thickness of the slab is 150 since we are concealing the beam in this in this slab we have to ensure that the beam also the thickness of the beam will be 150 so if we are going to make the thickness of this beam 150 we have to change the width since the depth of the beam will be 150 so the width has to increase using this area now we'll have to divide this area we've got in by 150 which will be the new depth of the beam we'll be inserting in this area so we'll divide it by 150 and this will be our new width why the 150 is our depth because we are concealing this beam in the slab and since we're considering this we uh, this beam in the slab we have to ensure that the depth of the beam and the depth of the slab is the same thing okay right now we've gotten that now what we need to do is to go to slab now we sorry not slab we need to go to beam go to beam and remember what we got as our width our width we got 750 750 why uh that we got 150 the debt will be the same debt of the slab remember that 150 and we'll update it now we pick out this point and drag to the next point where we are putting this hidden beam now you can see that the beam the width is quite big but that is what we were actually looking at and we're looking for now looking at the 3d view you can see that our beam has been properly inserted and it has similar depth as that of the slab okay for better understanding let me put up the slab okay now click on slab now the slab we're using has a depth or a thickness of 150 and the concrete cover is 25 let's go to the loading 
let's assume that we're putting up a room and also the impose load we assume 1.5 and we update click on this area oh sorry go back to slab we make the depth 150 and we go to the loading pick enter value we use the volume for a room and also for impose load we use 1.5 and we update click on this area and we click on this area now with what we've done to give you a better understanding of why this is called a hidden beam because it is concealed in a slab now let's take it up you can see you can see over here that the slab and the beam are in the same level so you wouldn't even notice that there is a beam in this area it still serves the same purpose it still directs the load from the slab towards the column the same work this other beam that has a bigger depth is serving in this structure that is the same work this hidden beam is going to serve so thank you for watching god bless you I still provide so many content and once again share like and comment on it wherever you don't understand you can see hit me up on the comment section I would explain further or I would upload a new video thank you and God bless you